if you're training your service dog to pick objects up like keys, glasses, whatever, you've already done the preliminary work, having it pick up dumbbells, you know, easy objects for them to pick up. This is gonna be the hardest object for your dog to pick up, keys. And some dogs put up, put up, uh, make a fuss about it longer than other dogs. Some dogs, you can get them through it in a session. A dog like Bella, you know, we're working on it, you know, probably this whole week and we're getting slow progress, but it's very important if your dog doesn't want to do it, that you get your dog to do this because if you stay, listen, if I, if I say that I'm going to teach a dog to do something, that's it. That's, that's what I'm going to do. And I stay on it until the dog starts doing it. Yes, I'm working on other things with her. And, you know, sometimes we come out and I just have her do one thing with the, with the keys, meaning, and that's what we're doing right now is just, I'll pick a spot and I'll have her hold the keys and then we'll walk to another spot and that way we're building on success. Okay, so this is how this works. We'll start here, I'll have her hold the keys, we'll walk to the black mat, right? If she drops them along the way, we come back here and start over again. That's it. I need the dog to know that she needs to, to accomplish the task and the task is from this spot to that spot. And then we come back here to this spot. See what I'm saying? Let's see if she can do it. Bella, come on, baby, you can do it. Bella, hold, 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 heel, hold, hold, good girl, hold, 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 sit, drop. That was awesome. Good girl. Can okay, I do it back? Here, come here, heel. Sit. Hold. No, hold. Hold. You got it. Hold. Hold. Sit. That's awesome. Drop. That's very good. Good girl, dude. Nice job. Thank you. It's metal. It's pointy. It's also like the weight distribution is really screwed up. Y you see what I'm saying? But I mean, to just say, well, oh, the dog doesn't like doing it. You, you know, that is send it. That would send the wrong message to Bella. That is not the message that we send to Bella because this isn't something that, dude, I, I've trained Shebas to pick these up. I've trained all kinds of dogs to pick up keys. And some dogs are sort of like Bella that it just takes a little bit longer to convince the dog that having this in its mouth is not a bad thing, it's a good thing. Stay on target. Don't ever, like if the dog, you see that the dog doesn't wanna do something, you know best. Make sure and send that message to the dog, no, you're gonna do it. And, and just know that you need to build on success and that's exactly what we, we've been doing with her. First, it, it was just about her holding the keys in her mouth, right? So I would just, go like this and hold and and she she wouldn't do it she would spit them out right away she would as soon as you put them in there she was like you know you know making this mouthing stuff she wouldn't she wouldn't do it drop so now we're at the you know what we're doing we're doing the exact same thing we had to do with the dumbbell first we got her to hold the dumbbell do, do you understand and at a point i was having her walk with the dumbbell that's what we're doing with the keys. We're having her walk around with the keys in her mouth, teaching her that this is a good thing. That's all it is. If the dog doesn't want to do it, it's good to make sure that the dog will do it. You know, and some of these, so I, many times it's like something that the dog doesn't like doing and then all of a sudden they like doing it and it's their favorite thing. I mean, if, if you would have the approach that like, oh, well, she doesn't like doing the keys Right, she likes doing something else. You're you're just gonna have a mess on your hands. That's that's not how that's not how it works with the dog. If the if the dog wants to go right, take it left. That's it. Dogs can't make make good decisions, and and they can't. And if I would have, if you would have the attitude, well, the dog doesn't like holding the keys. The dog would have never learned to retrieve in the first place. Something that that all dogs love, which is retrieving. And that's what the dog's doing when it 
when it picks up keys, it might only be a foot away, but the dog's doing a retrieve and all dogs like to retrieve. So when you're starting to teach the dog hold and everything, they don't like doing it. You see, they're, they're, they're like, you know, you look at Pharaoh or look at her when, when she first started. Now she wags her tail doing the stuff. So don't, don't have that attitude of like, oh, the dog has to like it. Bullshit, the dog doesn't have to like it. The dog, we teach the dog what it's supposed to like. We train the dog to play. That's it. She'll do it. She will, we got enough time. Sit. Drop. It's a good girl. You're doing it. Let's do it again. Here. Hold. Sit. Drop. That's freaking awesome. That's really awesome. The other thing that I'd like to point out is when, I, when I'm doing this and they're dropping it and I'm not getting anything other than like say a foot or something and they're dropping it instantly, sometimes I'm walking them sort of in a high collar, taking them back to being on the table. They're in a high collar. There's pressure going up, not a lot of pressure, but the leash is going straight up. Now, a leash can go straight up and there's no pressure. Do you understand the difference? Like if there's pressure, you're sort of toe barring them. But if there's no pressure and the leash is just going up, do you see what I'm saying? There's just no slack. So that's what it goes into. First, there's pressure going up, then it just goes into, you have the leash in an upward direction, but there's no pressure. And then it goes into a real relaxed leash that's that's hanging let's do this again you're you're awesome this by the way this is um two different sessions this is later in the afternoon when she's doing this i want her to do it so i don't want her to like really dread it so there's this fine line between like having the dog do something that you know that they're not into you, you see what I'm saying? And, and like just making them do it, but you also want them to have fun. So you, you have to build on success. If you don't build on success, you're going to get nowhere. So like with this, with this exercise where I have her over there or I here and I, and we go over there and she holds the keys. I've created this, like this, this distance, this spot where if you walk to the spot with the keys in your, if you do that, you're an awesome dog, but you have to make it to that one spot. And then it, the spot will just become the yard. And we'll just walk with these in her mouth and I'll be telling her that she's doing an awesome job. She, need, she needs to pick these up because we started doing this. Once you start doing it, it's like, you know, that's what we're training you to do. And there's no reason that she can't do it. And as you see, like, now she's holding them, not dropping them or not very much. And there's this like, you can see her body is sort of different. Like she knows that she's working and she's having a good time. She's fucking awesome. She is, she's awesome. Still one more time, babe. Sit, hold, drop. Very good, good girl. That's an awesome little girl. <clears throat> Mostly I've been putting them in her mouth sort of like this, right? Sort of like this. Now I'm gonna have her do it by this and just by this. But in this session, well, we're just gonna use this for a few sessions, so the key will be later. See what, I, see what I'm doing? Like, I'm not going to switch up. We just do this until we get success. Then we're going to do this. So she'll already do it like that. It's a series of steps. Let, let's see. Let's see if she'll, she'll hold it by the fob. Heel. Come on, baby. Heel. Hold. Hold. Sit. Hold. Hold. Drop. That was, that was by this. And at the end, you could kind of see, like, if they start lowering their head, they're going to drop it. So we'll do this some more times, but I don't think we're going to have to do it long. And then we'll, well, let's see how she does with the key. 
Let's try it one more time with the key. Bell, here, one more time. Come on, baby, you can do it. Come on, Belly. Sit, hold. Drop. That was good, good girl. Now she got about 15 feet away and she, she dropped it. So we went back to the starting spot and I had her do it again and she, she accomplished it. So this is, this is real, this is a real good sign. She'll, she'll, she'll pick the keys up before she goes home, won't you? She will, she's awesome. It really is, it's very important that she does this. It is, any time you teach a dog, you train a dog to do a command, it's helpful to the dog. It doesn't matter what it is. And sometimes these things that are difficult to train the dog to do, getting them to do it makes it so much easier on the dog and so much easier to deal with the dog. Once the dog knows, you know, it builds confidence in the dog. It does. Once the dog knows that it can do certain things, you can drill the dog doing this. You can train the dog. It's a positive thing for the dog. It's very important that she does this. Sometimes the hardest things to train in on a dog are the things that the dog ends up being so totally into. It's a fact. They just, they, they find out that that they like doing it and then they're, they're totally into it. And know that if your dog is trained, you want to work with them for their entire life. And you know, you, the dog likes doing it, so you want to do it. She's awesome. She'll, she'll do the keys. You're awesome, Bella. She's cute. Come on, you little munchkin. You little chipmunk girl. She looks like a little, little chipmunk. 